What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today We're back on the game of obelisk primitive server and we're gonna go out and do something other than building and farming We're gonna go see if we can find something good to tame not sure what we're gonna tame yet um, Be it a thylacoleo dode anki, you know, whatever we can find that's useful uh, a Rex anything uh, we're gonna see what we can find we've got a, a few building and yeah, let's show you We've got a few building structures in our inventory in case we can down something that we can like maybe build around it to kind of protect it a little bit We got some narcotics. We don't have any meat or kibble or anything like that yet so we'll, we'll, we'll probably take some out with this. We gotta figure out what we want to take with this. I accidentally ate gamma steak, uh, shadow steak, uh, saute when I tried to game mode. So everything's super bright right now. So let's see what we're gonna do as far as kibble go. We may just take some veggies out with us and veggie tame something if it's vegetarian. And we may take, if we have maybe some mutton. We have some mutton, so we may take some mutton out with us as well. Let's see. Let's just grab some of this here mutton. We'll take like 50 mutton with us. We'll take not that many vegetables. We'll take like 70 vegetables and we got narcotics, so we're not going to take biotoxin. We're saving that for our shock darts once we hit an high enough level, which I don't... I, speaking of which... No, 96. What level am I up to? I am up to level 92. So four more levels and we'll be able to make shock darts finally, and then we can actually start worrying about really farming biotoxin. We're going to take a few of these with us for the movement speeds. I'm not sure why, but some of these keep resetting. If you know, if you know why these keep resetting, let me know in the comment section below. Some of the custom foods and... Uh, drinks we keep making keep going back to this uh, when the server restarts and I'm not sure why but they keep becoming a generic food and you see I, I drink them they don't do anything well my water was already full but they give one water one health when they're originally made they give you know that they give 467 health 166 water 206 stamina and have a long spoil timer well in the, fr in the freezer anyway so I'm not sure what's going on there if you guys know what's going on there let me know in the comment section below so we can try to get it fixed I'm not sure what's happening I don't know if it's mod related or if that happens with vanilla or what, but we're, we're putting them in the AA fridge, which is literally just a copy of the vanilla fridge. All right, so without, fifth, fifth out? <laughs> so without further ado, guys, let's go out and get us some taming done. We got a uh, we got a long neck with regular bolts. We've got a long neck with 101 trank darts, which should be more than enough for anything we need to tame. We've got a crossbow, we got grapple, everything's repaired. We got a shotgun, we got food, drinks, water, sh shadow sticks. Let's go ahead and take our focal chills here. And if you don't know, Focal Chill gives you increased movement speed, and that's why we use it. Oh, hello, Davey. Gives you the increased movement speed. That's why we use it. It gives you, a, a, like, a 25% increase to movement speed. So we, we run a lot faster with Focal Chill, which, we use, which is great every season, but specifically this season, it's amazing. Because that's a, that's a huge uh, boost in movement speed without having to use any points. You just got to keep the Focal Chillies going. And, and as you saw in one of the previous episodes, we got the 149 crop plot armored greenhouse going. So veggies aren't really an issue for us. We've got veggies out the wazoo. Huh. Well, maybe not out the wazoo, but we've got plenty of veggies, even with our large tribe, to keep them going. So let's go see. What, did we grab a spyglass? Ah, I thought so. Okay, <laughs> I couldn't remember if I actually grabbed it or not. Let's see. We don't really need the sword right now. So let's let's bust out our handy dandy spyglass here and see if we can find a 45 carbon oh this isn't we got the wrong spyglass oh well we'll have to make do we didn't grab my <laughs> somebody made a regular spyglass I'd, I'd prefer to use my super spyglass but regular spyglass it is for now let's go see what we can find and we'll be our bees as soon as we find something all right so while we're running around looking for a dino i take the kids i mentioned we got a new headset and i actually had i recorded two episodes before this one so sorry if there's like a gap in content but i recorded two episodes before this one and this is a USB headset, which is new. I have I wasn't using a USB headset before. So I switched to this new USB headset, and I recorded two episodes not realizing that I had to select the... Or, like, not... I realized that I needed to do it, but I didn't do it. I, I completely forgot to select the USB sound input on OBS, so I had recorded two videos with absolutely no in-game sound. The only sound was the, the, the mic volume for my mic. Oh, hello, copy. <laughs> the only sound... So if there's a little gap in content... Uh, that's why uh, we recorded two videos, one without Nick, one with Nick, uh, kind of overlapping. So it kind of sucks that we lost two videos, but, you know, it happens. But now we've got our regular regular headset going, or regular headset. We've got our new headset. we got the, the Corsair headset to match the keyboard and mouse we're using. It's a lot more comfortable on the ears. Uh-oh, true done. I thought that was a freaking Dillo. Don't knock me out. Oh, crap, I'm getting out of here. We don't want to get trapped by no dillos. Don't knock me out. Don't knock me out. My salt meter's rising. Can I really not grapple to a tree? There we go. Easy way to uh, get away from true dunce. Just grapple to a tree. Jesus, what level are these? 45. I have so much health. Oh, 
Can't hit the last one. <laughs> oh, let's reload. Or not. Let's put our shotgun away on accident. There we go. It's eating its friends. It's a cannibal. And we'll run away. Come at me, bro. Uh-oh. Right. I cannot hit this guy. Thank you. There we go. Get off of me. I should've just got my sword out. Uh oh Don't wanna hit that Chalico. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go find something tame. But yeah, <laughs> sorry we got a little distracted there. Yeah, that, that's that's what's going on with the videos, guys. Sorry, uh, I was putting out two videos a day. There may have been a few days in there. I'm not sure quite yet because I record ahead of time. Like, what I'm going to be able to put out those days. But I was hoping to get two videos out of every day. So I sorry. Or I rather. I, I sorry. No. I apologize if uh, there's a few days where it's only one video. We'll do our best to get two videos out of the day. But I can't guarantee anything. Because it is a lot of work. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content though. And enjoying the two videos a day. We'll do the best we can to get two videos out every day. It's, there's some days we won't. And there will be some days there won't be a video if I get really busy modding. Because it happens. But uh, that's, that's pretty much the state of the channel right now. So guys, that's, I just wanted to say that, say that while that was on my mind, and uh, we'll be our beasts as soon as we can find something to tame. Alright guys, we're back. We found a level 95 Rex. It's not the highest level, but I think we're going to go ahead and uh, try to tame it. Might as well. It's it's like right down on that cliff. <laughs> I heard its footsteps, and I was like, ooh, that sounds big. So I think we're going to try to tame this real quick. Oh, not real quick, but it's a 95, so it's a decent level. It's not the best level in the world, but hey, I'll take a 95 Rex over no Rex, assuming we can get it back to the base without a dime. I do not have a saddle on me, so I'll have to make it follow us back to base. But we're going to try to tame this guy. I definitely don't have enough structures to enclose it, so we'll have to um, try to hide it somehow. Hide the giant Rex when we're taming it. <laughs> but it shouldn't be too hard to take down. 95 is not that bad. Parachute. Just hopefully it stays away from any water. Hello, Mr. Rex. He's mad at me. Oh, that was a premature cut. Ah! Bring it on, Mr. Rex. Bring it on. Run in circles. Don't let it hit you. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. That guy better not knock out my Rex. Doing the, the tango with this Rex, just following its butt. <laughs> Rex, ow. Ow. Get away from me. Ow. We're going back up. We're going back up. Uh oh. We're going back down. We're going back down. Oh, no. It's running again. What? Or not. Or is it? This Rex is thoroughly confused. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. I think it's running. It, it must be getting sleepy. Stay away from that water. You are getting sleepy. Ow. Ow. Up first. What? I hit that tree? <laughs> Going down, Mr. Rex. You're going down. You will be mine. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully you don't die while I'm there with you. Come on, shoot. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Run. Break my armor soon, I think. Ow. Get sleepy. Aw, oh, blood spider, but no hit marker. I'm robbed. I'm getting robbed. Go down. Go down. You are getting sleepy. You want to be my friend. You know you want some of my mutton. Come on, you know you want it. Come 
He does not. He gives no Fs. <laughs> I was like, oh, my long gun doesn't break, but it's doing good. This is why I want sh <laughs> shock darts. <sighs> he's getting sleepy, though. He's not even trying to attack anymore. So he's definitely got to be getting sleepy. Stay away from that water. Oh, get out of that water. Get out of that water. Yeah, go down in the cliff. Go down in the cliff. Hide your hitbox from the enemies. Oh, get out of the water. Come on, get out of the deep water. Get out of there. This is where I wish I melted my, uh, my ultimate spyglass. Uh. Come on, go down. Yes, run into the cliffside and go down. I love it when they go down in the cliff and all you can see is their butt. It makes them harder to troll. Ooh, that would be the perfect place to go down. Yeah, go in there. Come on, you can do it. Go in there. Turn around. Or don't. No, get out, get out of the water! You stupid Rex. God, this Rex uh, has got to have like crazy traverse. There he goes, and of course right on the beach. Well, there we go. He's unconscious. Now we'll wait for him to get a little hungry before we feed him. Make sure no trolls come by. Why is this guy over here? He's naked. Yeah, all we can do is wait. We definitely don't have enough structures to, uh, to defend this guy. So we're gonna, well, we might as well go ahead and put some mutton in there. We'll, we'll put half of it in there for now. What? What? What was that? Something large just died here. Uh, your juvenile dodecarus. Oh, nice. Was killed. Starved to death. Lovely. Put food in inventory to tame. Yay. You have food. Gotta love that desync. Hmm. Was that a guanada? I want to get another good level Guanadon for my, uh, ooh. Tempting. Rex, Guanadon. Rex, Guanadon. I think we'll stick with Rex for now. <laughs> but if that Guanadon, I'm going to have to come back looking for that uh, Guanadon. Faux show. Sure. We're going to we're gonna hide in the rectum of this Rex. Rextum. Rextum. Yeah, we're going to get this guy tamed up. And then we will BRBs as soon as it's awake, and we will journey our way back to base as soon as it survives, or we'll BRBs as soon as someone attacks. So guys, we'll BRBs in just a moment. Alright, we're back. We crafted a bowl in our inventory and we knocked out this 135 Iguanodon because it started to come close enough to like be able to watch them both. So we got a Iguanodon knocked out. We got a Rex knocked out. This is turning into um, quite a decent taming spree. It's only 95 Rex, but it's a 135 Iguanodon. We're at about halfway on this Rex. It's eaten, looks like, three three times, I guess, now. Three Mutons. So it looks like it might take six or seven months to tame. But we got some uh, Rock Carrots. Rock Rock Carrots? Rock Carrots? However you pronounce it. Got some carrots in this guy. He's going to take, uh, oh wow, only 2.8% per bite. He's going to take a little bit to, to go. We'll go ahead and throw all the carrots in there. If he dies, he dies. It's not a huge loss, but we're going to tame him. If we got the time. Come on as well, right? So we got two things taming up, guys, and we'll be our bees as soon as they wake up. All right, guys, we're back. We've decided to go ahead and, uh, we, we've got the uh, structure, so might as well, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and box this guy in. Uh, the best we can, anyway. Hopefully we can get him uh, somewhat troll-proof here. That's the, that's the hope. I don't know if we'll be able to get completely there, but we're going to do our best to make it somewhat troll-proof. 
not sure that we're actually going to be able to. There's going to be a few places they can still snipe in, but they're, they're going to have to work for it if they went in now. But we have built ourselves in. Let's get our building helper here. And let's see, which one of these walls has two connected? We can take this wall out. Yeah. All right. Let's take that wall out. Boop. All right, there we go. Now we can keep an eye on that one while it tames. Well, like I said, it's not completely troll-proof, but it's about as good as this one's going to get. Uh, we can make it a little more troll-proof by doing that. I don't know what else we can do here. Oh, that, that'll work somewhat. So yeah, they can still shoot in there, but it's better than it was. <laughs> it's definitely not pretty, but it'll do the trick. It'll protect it. I was like, oh yeah, we got all these uh, we got all these structures. We might as well protect it a little bit. So we'll let that guy uh, tame up in there. We'll go in and check on him every now and then. We'll, we'll, we'll focus our efforts on protecting this Rex. Oh, I took my long neck off. That probably wasn't the smartest move. Uh oh, ceiling. All right, this guy's definitely not going to take any narcotics. Oh, we just ate again. He's getting close. He's, he's going to tame faster than a damn Aquanodon. Oh my god. Uh, looks like he's only got a few bites left. Maybe one or two. And this Aquanodon's probably going to take like an hour afterwards. The, the priorities, right? Yeah. So we may uh, we may leave this guy taming here while we go check on why we get why we take the Rex back to base if it wakes up that much ahead of time because this guy well he's at twenty two percent so not terrible we'll see uh, I don't want to I don't want to risk losing the Rex for an iguana <laughs> iguanas are good for getting around is why I want one they're not not great for fighting but they're pretty good for getting around they're quick and they're good at harvesting seeds which I actually. Don't need, but if my greenhouse gets short again, it would be nice to have a surplus of seeds. And we're missing a few seeds still, other than what's growing in the crop plots. Like uh, Rockeret and Citronelle seeds, we don't really have a surplus of. So if my greenhouse gets broken into again and I have to replace it, it'd be nice to have the backup seeds. So it'd be nice to have a little, little bit of a guanodon. But guys, we'll be back as uh, soon as this guy finishes taming up. One or two more bites and we'll be our bees. All right, guys, we're back. Our Rex has tamed up. We've named it Rexy because I couldn't think of anything else on the spot. Uh, our Iguanodon is still up in their taming. We need a little bit more hide, and we can make an Iguanodon saddle in our inventory. So we're going to use our new Rexy here. Uh, get some levels on him. We, we can't make a, a Rex saddle out in the wild, but we can make an Iguanodon saddle. So we're going to we're going to use our Rex here to get some more hide. Get him. Oh, thank you, Rex. Let's see. All right. Let's see here. Follow me. All right, we need uh, we needed 19 hides, so we still need 17 more. Die, I want another. Actually, it worked better if I harvest them. Oh, or not. I didn't get any hide. Usually, I get hide with the sword. But we're going to go around. We're going to harvest some, some hide and hopefully get an Iguanodon saddle going. Oh, come here, Gally. Can I not? No, no, no. How much do we need left? We need 11 more hide and we'll be good to make our Iguanodon saddle. Then we can ride our Iguanodon back to base with the Rex in tow. That'll make things so much easier. The Iguanodon, judging by its current torpidity versus how much food it's eaten, it should it should uh, wake up without any problem. Uh, it shouldn't require any narcotics, so we should be good to just leave it there until it tames up. We put it in this nice little box, which with the purge uh, damage multipliers, we shouldn't have to worry about, you know, anybody coming to kill it because we actually got it completely surrounded, so... It's not a big deal there. I guess we're going to pump stamina. Could pump movement speed, but I mean... Can we craft it yet? How much more do we need? We need five more. Oh, hello, Compy. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Alright, one more hide. One more hide. You can do it. Come on, Rexy. Let's get one more hide here. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Oh, hello, Mr... Ooh. Oh, I forgot its name. <laughs> I said Wooly. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. Freaking Thorny Dragon. I couldn't think of its name. <laughs> All right. We can make an Iguanodon saddle. So now we can head back to base. Or base. Our, well, I guess our Iguanodon base. We can head back over there. We can, uh, as soon as our Iguanodon tames up, we can put the saddle on it. We can ride it back with the Rex and Toe, guys. So we'll be our bees as soon as Mr. Iguana or Mrs. Iguanodon uh, tames up. I'm not sure what it was. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we'll be our bees in just a moment. Come on, Mr. Rex. You can do it. 
All right, guys, we're getting close to taming it up. It's at 91.2%, which means it's only got one or two more carrots to eat, and it'll be woken up. Yeah, we're definitely not going to need any ninny, ninny, ninny. We're not going to need any nar narcotics. No, <laughs> we're not going to need any narcotics. Sorry. <laughs> A little rambly dambly there. Uh, we're gonna need any narcotics to get this guy tamed up, or the Rex for that matter. But the Rex is right out there, along with Flash from uh, one of our green green weed, one of our alliances. He's been following me around. I don't know why. I guess he's bored. I don't know. But this guy's almost tamed up. The Rex is tamed up. We've emptied the Rex's inventory somewhat. He's he's got us some berries. Oh, we should probably take that mutton out of there. Actually, we should. Well, nah. I'll say it won't. It'll spoil less in there, but it's not that big of a deal. Mutton's not. I mean, we're back on the island, so mutton is a little harder to find. That's not terrible. You can just go run around Snow Mountain for a little bit and find a few sheep. Uh, I should probably actually tame some and get some breeder pairs going. But we've been living off what mutton we have right now. We've been mostly using kibble since we have the kibble vending machine for taming. But as I didn't know what I was going to be taming, I went ahead and decided to just, you know, come on out with the mutton. The iguanodon is tamed, so we can put a saddle on it here. Boop. Let's see. Where did its saddle go? There it is. All right. We got our saddle. We'll take our carrots back. And we're going to go ahead and uh, pick all of this. Oops. I might break some of it on accident because it's so weirdly built. Yep. Oh, God. We're doing bad. We're doing real bad. We're breaking all the things. It's okay. But it's worth it. We got an iguanodon. We can ride our iguanodon back. All right. There we go. So we can ride our iguanodon back. And we'll take our rex back with us. And hopefully we don't run into anybody on the way. Uh, if you didn't know, the iguanodon has pretty much unlimited stamina if you're on all fours. And if you right click, you can go up on twos. So it's got pretty much unlimited stamina when you're riding the Iguanodon, which is super nice, uh, especially when you're moving. So this guy's going to get pumped with a little bit of weight and a lot of bit of speed. And this is probably going to become my farming mount, my personal farming mount, because I actually, I really, really love Iguanodons. What is this Rex doing? Rawr, rawr. All right, let me put this guy on low follow distance here. I might walk in that way. That's a little more dangerous route to go, but it might be easier than trying to go over this hill. Let's see, behavior, follow distance, lowest. All right. Follow me. Why did it move? Oh, killed by a tri alliance. Oh, great. Now we're stuck inside. All right, let's let's bust out the whip here. All right, Rexy, move your butt. All right, we're gonna go this way just for the simple fact that I don't get stuck on everything, every two inches. Because the Rexes uh, aren't th aren't the best at following. That I do know. Not, not many dinos in this game are. That's that's one of the, the downfalls of this game that I don't like is Jeep was killed by Rex. <laughs> is the, the AI of the dinos. It's I, I don't think it's going to get, get any better. I think they've got it as best they can get with the per, yeah, while keeping server per, performance in mind without overloading the server. What is that guy doing? Graveling to it? Alright, come on Mr. Rex. You can do it. We're going to go right up this hill and to the left and back towards Green Knob. We're going to try to stick through as many woods as we can. The Rex will probably get stuck on a lot of trees. But it'll be safer because it is actually a pretty dangerous server when somebody sees a, a dino out, uh, especially an unsettled one, that try to kill it. Because the settle is not much, but it, it helps. Uh, and without a settle, they're pretty much dead ducks. And that's an unleveled level 95 rex, so it would probably die pretty easy. Gonna have to get some levels in it before it's strong enough to really survive on its own out here. But we're gonna get back to base. We're gonna get a rex saddle made, and we're gonna go out for a meat run because we're, we're constantly running low on meat when I try to make uh, cakes of opinas. So we're gonna go out on a meat run as soon as we get back to base. So we'll be our beast either as soon as we get back to base or as soon as we run into some PvP action on the way back to base. So guys, we'll be our beast in just a moment. All right, guys, we're back at base. We've got the rex brought back. We've got the iguana down here with the saddle. We're gonna go get a saddle made up for this rex, and I think we're gonna try to take it out and meat farming and see see how it does compared to a pig. Because it sucks, like, going through metal just to get meat. So we're going we're, we're gonna to take him out some meat farm, and we're going to leave the Iguanodon up in the base in one of the smaller pens, because I said it's going to be my personal dino. I'm going to increase its rider rank. I don't have a personal dino this season. Most everybody has Thylacolios, but I don't have one. But I'm going to take this Iguanodon. I'm going to pump as much movement speed and weight in it as I can. Maybe not even movement speed, because it's, it's pretty quick. It's not fast enough to outright, outrun some of the players on this server, like with their current movement speed, but it, it's quick enough to do some farming, which is what I want it for. I want, it, I want something with some weight I can take out farming. So I may use this, or I may... I may go for a Therizino because farming wood is nice, but I don't know yet. This may be my personal one for when I go out to farm random stuff, like metal. But guys, we're going to get that uh, Rex saddle real quick, and we'll BRBs as soon as we got the saddle in our inventory and we get down there to the Rex. And get some work done. All right, guys, so we're back, and we've actually already got a Rex saddle made, so we're going to grab that. We're going to throw some of this um, stuff we picked up and got uh, back down into where it goes, and one of the beauties of AA right here. All right, we need the Rex saddle. We don't need any of this other stuff. We're just going to throw it on the floor. Let the mod sort it for us, which is the beauty of automated arc at its best. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, when you throw stuff on the floor, the grinder will pick up the like resources, building stuff like that. Feeding troughs will pick up any berries or meat you drop, and then uh, the vaults will sort anything that's, well, not from feeding troughs, but like anything you've dropped as far as resources stuff that picks up by the grinder, will, the vaults will sort it into their respective vaults. So pretty much you can just popcorn everything in your base, let the grinder pick it up, let the feeding troughs pick it up, and then let the, let the vaults sort the grinder. And we've got it only set to do that once an hour, or you can use your handy dandy vault remote to do it. Oh, I've still got 25 walls in my inventory. We're still in range of the grinder, so we're just going to drop it right there in the gates. Uh, but yeah, you just let it all sorted out. The only thing you have to do is if you've got something you don't want either, in either the feeding trough or the vaults, you need to make sure you put that where it goes before you pop, or don't popcorn it, put it where it goes. Like if you want to put something in the freezer, put it in the freezer because the freezer doesn't pick stuff up off the ground. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about adding to AA, but I'm just trying to find a good way to do it because, you know, certain people like certain stuff in the freezer, certain people don't, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of customization that needs to go in there, a lot of options. So I haven't implemented it yet just for the sheer fact of how many options there are. So I would like to add some kind of pulling to the fridges, but I haven't decided yet on exactly what I'm going to do. But here we are at our Rex. It's already got two levels. Uh, we're going to put those into, I think we're just going to go stamina. Maybe maybe a point or two and wait here. Yeah, we'll do the rest in stamina, though. That way we can just munch away as we go out. But we're going to go out on a quick meat farm. We're just going to hit the swamp here right by our base. Hopefully we don't run into too much PvP because I don't think this Rex will survive very long. How much health does it have? It's only got 4,000 health, so it, it, it'll actually die pretty quick on this server. We're going to go out for a, a quick meat run, not actually have to use our freaking... Oh. Our metal tools to do a meat run for once. So we're going to get out to the swamp, guys, and we'll be our bees as soon as we get there. Alright, guys, we're back out here. We're making our way to the swamp. We've got 200 and... 13.9% melee damage, which if you know anything about this server, if you've been watching the videos, you'll know you can't increase melee or health on this server. What you tame it at, what you breed it at, is what it comes out at. So the only way to really increase those is going to be mutations. So we're going to see how he does. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. We're going to see how he does on um, on a meat run here. So we're going to walk down in here to the swamp because there's always a bunch of stuff right at the bottom of this waterfall if I can get this Rex to turn. And we'll do the old uh, dismount trick. Uh-oh, bad time screen, please. Ooh, dismount, please. Alright, so we're going to use the old... Uh, this mount trick to not take fall damage, although we fell in the water, so it really wouldn't have mattered. Die, leech. We're gonna see how much meat this guy gets per, like, dino. He doesn't have a ton of melee, but eh, eight raw fish, that's not bad. He's getting decent hide. Not terrible, I mean, it's, it's, I get more of the metal pick, but I, like I said, I'm damaging the metal pick. So it's more of a cost investment to use a rex. I'd love to get a high level rex, and I'm gonna keep my eyes open for high level rexes, but we're gonna pump stamina for all the levels in this. Alright, let's get out of the water here before we stam out in water. There we go. Oh, fishy ran out of the water. But we need lots and lots of meat for a tri-bar size, so it'd be nice to get a real high level something for meat running. Gigas are disabled on this server, so we can't get gigas. So Rexes are not our next best bet, but I happened to stumble upon one, so I thought I'd see how it does. Um, Therizinos are what we've been using. They do really well with a power harvester. What am I stuck on? Oh, really? We were stuck on a Dimorphodon. Or a Dimetrodon. Yeah, guys, so we're gonna do some meat farming. We're gonna we're gonna time lapse it with a little bit of musico, and uh, we'll see how this Rex does at the end of um, at the end of a song. <laughs> we'll see how much meat we can gather in a somewhat short period of time, maybe ten or fifteen minutes.
All right, guys, we are back from our meat run. We montaged it a little different style. I hope you guys liked how it was montaged. Uh, we did some more cinematics with it. Is there a naked guy? Oh, no, that's okay. We did some more cinematics, but we only came back with 618 raw meat, 72. So it wasn't extremely efficient. The Thera's needles are definitely still better. But it's nice to at least have a Rex we can put it on aggressive and let it munch people during purge or winter this season. We got in the... <laughs> so, yeah, but this level 95 doesn't do, doesn't do much in the way of farming, but... It's going to be becoming a base defense Rex. Uh, is it the Rex of a penis? No. <laughs> Not even close. Uh oh. We shut ourselves out. We're going to leave them right there for a second. We're going to go put the materials in where they go. We're going to put the raw meat straight into the cauldron for making cakes of a penis because we, we made them take raw meat instead of cooked meat because there's absolutely no difference in the recipe. Uh, the only reason I usually use cooked meat is because I usually have cooked meat in surplus in the grill, but that's not so. Not so much this season. So we're going to put all this in here. We're going to popcorn this. Uh, fishing's disabled, so I don't know why I'm keeping the leech blood. But we're going to keep the leech blood. Let's go put the organic poly and yield a polymer transmitter and turn that into some nice, juicy hard poly. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me check our poly crate. We've got a decent amount of snails, snails now, so we get an okay amount of poly out of that. Not a ton, but might as well turn it in while we're, while we're thinking about it. Might as well turn it into the hard poly. So let's go put this Rex away, and we'll be our beats in just a moment. We got more levels, guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. We're going to go around. I just put that point in stamina. I did not want to do that. Oh, well, I was not paying attention, but we're going to go around. We're going to level this guy up, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Subscribe to the channel for future content. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next episode.